onto Siaya County and embattled Siaya Deputy Governor William O'Dwall appeared before the Senate's special committee probing his impeachment. O'Dwall denied all charges leveled against him by the County National Assembly, which includes gross misconduct, abuse of office, and violation of the Constitution. The CIA County Assembly, while making their submissions, told the Senate committee that the deputy governor has failed the integrity test to continue holding office. Let's get more from our very own Stephen Little. Uh, uh, CPA, Dr. William O'Dwell. CIA Deputy Governor William O'Dwell walked into his impeachment hearings, chaired by Elgeyo Maraquet Senator William Kisang. After voting to kick him out of office by way of impeachment, the CIA County Assembly through Yimbo East MCA faced the Senate committee to make their case on why the Senate should uphold their decision to send the Deputy Governor packing. Here, we procure items worth 11 million furnitures outside the budget to eat mr speaker we buy orthopedic chairs we buy presidential uh, seats worth millions of shillings we sound proof at that particular time the impeachment grounds tabled before the Senate committee include interference with the procurement process where the Assembly claims that William O'Dwell interfered with the procurement surrounding various road projects in Sierra. The Assembly further accuses the Deputy Governor of coercing the head of procurement on the supply of certified seeds and fertilizer. O'Dwell is also facing accusations of abuse of office, with the petitioners presenting before the Senate that the deputy governor used his office irregularly, renovate his office at a cost of 18 million shillings that had not been budgeted for. The people of Syria unanimously voted to remove the deputy governor as their leader. And why did they do so at this early stage, somebody may ask. We will demonstrate to you there is what we call catch them young. I still believe it was the perfect uh, combination to uh, take Sierra to greater height. The deputy governor is also expected to defend himself tomorrow over claims of misuse of public resources. Also facing James Orengo's deputy are claims of bullying and coercion of junior officers to alter specifications of certain tenders. There was also an observation or a statement made, general statement made, outside what we were inquiring. And this was about the abnormal, huge transfer of monies from impressed, from uh, recurrent to impressed. We urge this committee, when you retire, to consider your decision in this matter to be guided by the law on the thresholds of impeachment. The hearings continue tomorrow. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.